You own a backbone one, check out this video. And we're back, DLG fam. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to all the new viewers. I hope everyone is having a beautiful and wonderful day. Bienvenidos a todos al canal de LG. Gracias por venir a nuestro canal. Espero que todos estén teniendo un bonito día y productivo. So, the backbone one. What do I have for you guys today? Well, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on the backbone one yes i do own the playstation edition and the original backbone one which was released back on october 2020 please correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments below but i'm pretty sure that's the year it was released the only difference between the original backbone and the playstation edition is just the color and the design of the buttons that's it it still has all the same functionality but today i'm going to touch base on you on a few tips and tricks of what you can do with the actual backbone one in that case, let's go to the overhead shot so you guys can see what you can do with the Backbone 1. All right, guys, so here's the Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition with the actual iPhone Pro Max adapter. This adapter actually comes with the Backbone 1 now. You no longer have to order it, not unless you actually lose it. I believe you could place an order for that on the actual Backbone website. But one thing I did want to remind you guys is in order for you to use your iPhone on the Backbone 1, you do have to remove your case and that's the one thing I don't like about it is the fact that I have to remove my case but this time around we'll go ahead and remove it for testing purposes just to show you guys what this thing is able to do. So guys the controller can be used as an external control on your iPad, your PC, your Mac, Google Chrome and your Android device. Yes Backbone does have an Android version of this device. I don't have an Android so I have the iPhone version and just to let you guys know this device is compatible with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You do have to use this actual rubber insert here so you could go ahead and protect the camera but remember you cannot use it with an actual case. Let's go ahead and run the actual Backbone app by pressing the Backbone button. So let's go ahead and check out the Backbone subscription. I go to my profile and you guys will be able to see that I am indeed subscribed to the actual Backbone One plan. The reason being is that I got grandfathered in when I actually originally purchased the OG Backbone and, and that's pretty cool because I will be able to show you guys all the features that I'm talking about. So as far as compatibility with the actual controllers, you go to controller and you go to play on any screen. It says disabled, right? But right here, you can actually set it to either iPad, Google Chrome, PC, Android, or Mac. There you go, you guys can see the actual backbone connected externally to the actual iPad. I will show you guys how that works as well, but let's go ahead and go back because we do have it connected to the actual iPhone. When you do have the actual subscription-based service, you're actually able to connect it to your Twitch account, which it will allow you to stream directly from your device without there being a third-party capture device because it will actually do all the streaming straight from your phone while you're actually gaming. All right, guys, so with the subscription service, you actually get all your games in one place, just as you guys can see here, this UI that kind of resembles the actual UI on the actual Xbox. And you also get 20 other app features unlocked. On top of that, you get personalized game recommendations, which I mean, I really don't use that, but other than that, you know, it's okay. You're actually able to capture, edit, and share 1080p video at 60 frames per second with cloud storage. And also, if you have the subscription-based service, you're actually able to talk to your friends with the in-app voice or text chat. You're also able to find new squad mates and go into public lobbies to be able to play some of your favorite games. I feel like the actual Backbone has a lot of restrictions if you do not have the subscription based service, but if you do, follow along and you'll be able to take advantage of them. You can also share in-game highlights and stream with your friends. Remember, you're only able to live stream if you do have the subscription based service and the live stream is only via Twitch. So one of the neat things I wanted to touch base on on the Backbone One, you don't need to actually map out the buttons in order for it to work. For example, with Call of Duty, I'm having that issue with the Razer Edge that you actually have to map out the buttons in order for it to work properly. But that is Android based and I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, down in the comments below, if an Android based external controller requires you to remap the buttons or map the buttons in order for it to function correctly. So a neat thing that the actual iPhone has is you're able to use focus modes just as you guys can see right here. You go in there and you're able to personalize it so you will get minimal interruptions while you're actually gaming. I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick right here. The way you create a focus mode is you go into your settings, you go into focus, you go ahead and click on the plus sign, and we're gonna create one for gaming. So we're gonna customize it. You can actually add people straight onto the actual gaming focus mode of the ones that you actually want to receive messages or calls from while you're actually gaming. We're gonna go ahead and choose the apps that we want to add on there. Here you go, here's all the games that it'll add. 
and this is just for testing purposes we'll go ahead and click OK you can also customize the actual home screen and the actual springboard so we're gonna go ahead and choose create a new page based off of games that are actually installed on the phone we're gonna go ahead and edit the apps because I see a few of them are actually missing we're gonna go and add those go ahead and click add and there you go so I got my dog right there and you could also actually do it for your Apple watch if you do have one paired to your device we got the wireless controller turn on automatically when the device is actually plugged in it'll switch to the gaming focus mode alright so there it is it's actually set up already we're not gonna put any people right now and let's give this a try we're gonna go ahead and unplug it there you go and let's go down right here the focus mode is actually set to nothing right now go ahead and uh, carefully insert this right here there you go look at that it switched to gaming look at that's my new home screen right there everything gaming related so I got all my games right there that I could actually load you can add whatever you want and let's see the home screen Bam! look at that right there so let's go back to the original way that it is when the device is not connected bam look at that there you go that's the way game focus works on the actual iPhone you can benefit from it that way no one interrupts you while you're actually gaming so another neat thing that you're able to do on this device you're actually able to play off of web arcade this is an emulator so what you want to do in order for you to remove all the top features that are browser related you press on the up button and then you go ahead and you click add to your home screen that's going to go ahead and add an app on your home screen there it is right there so you go ahead and you press it it runs it without the browser all around it turn it around look at that guys now you're actually able to use the emulator on this actual website and look you can actually use the backbone controller on it let's try some classic doom just so you guys can see that it does actually work here we go and it's loading look at that emulating actual doom from back in the 90s that's pretty dope who would have ever thought that you're able to do this with the backbone one all right guys so now i'm going to show you how to connect the actual controller to your ipad what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the external control as you guys can see here play on screen you want to make sure you actually have it selected to the device you're going to use i'm going to use it on the ipad that way the device will remember because you have it saved on here you go back and now let's go ahead and plug it in what you do here is you grab your usb type c end you plug it into your actual ipad and the lightning cable end you go ahead and you plug it into your actual controller you will see it turn on that means it's ready to go it's actually glowing blue so let's go ahead and run the cloud gaming you got it right here all right guys we're gonna go ahead and run the actual cloud gaming with the backbone controller so you guys can see it actually works i'm using the backbone controller as an actual control look at that right there oh that's a hint you see look at that guys all right and that's the backbone on the actual ipad so guys it's the same process when you want to connect the backbone controller to any of the devices that it is compatible with you want to make sure first that you actually change the settings on the actual backbone app under settings play on device and you choose from the menu what you want to play on whether it's the ipad a pc a mac an android device or on the actual Google Chrome so guys what do you guys think about those tips and tricks I think that the backbone one considering the fact that a lot of the items that I showed you guys are restricted to the subscription based service and that really sucks because the subscription service costs $49.99 a year if that's your main source of gaming then BAM you got it right there you get all those incredible features that I mentioned before but if you're a dad a gaming dad looking for incredible features that you did not know about the backbone one don't forget to check out my latest video but till next time guys i'm tech peace out the only difference between the back oh god i had chile in my hands oh man ah, that hurts Woo.